Hi, welcome to a new tutorial. Here I'll be showing you how to do an introduction countdown to your game. So we'll be showing you how to do a countdown that goes 3, 2, 1 and then play. Okay, so first off we're going to open our first person game mode. To locate this, this is in your first person blueprints folder, blueprints and then first person game mode, double click it to open and it should open this new window. And then we just click open full blueprint editor and this window will pop up. Just drag the tab to this top next to the other tab and it will dock it there. So this game mode blueprint is empty and that is what you should be expecting. So now we need to create some nodes for it. So let's just right click and do event begin play because we want this to happen as soon as the game mode loads up. And another thing we're going to need for starting is a new variable and I'm going to call this int countdown and I'm going to change this variable type to integer compile it so I can choose a default value I'm going to set it to 3 and compile again and as soon as the game mode starts we want to disable player input so off of event begin play I'm just going to drag and I'm going to do cast to first person character my object being my player controller. Nope, sorry. I want to get player character. And as my first person character, I want to disable input. My controller being my player controller. So I'm just get player controller and compile. So now as soon as the game starts, we can't move our character, which is what we want. So from here, we want to then enable the countdown. So I'm just going to drag off and I'm going to get a delay. And our duration is going to be one second because we want one second between each countdown. So it's going three seconds, two seconds, one second, go. On completed, we want to check, you know, has the countdown finished? So we do want a branch statement. So hold B and left click to get one of those and connect them up. Now we just need to create our condition. So right click and just type equal and open your bracket and type integer. And we want the top equal integer. So what we want to do is we want to check if ink countdown is equal to zero. So I'm just going to drag ink countdown in, click get and place it into the top one. Place this red into the condition and now we're checking if it's equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, we want to re-enable input for our character. So I'm just going to get my cast first person character and as first person character, enable input using my player controller as my player controller. Now, if you wanted this a bit neater, you could recast the first person character, but I'm just reusing the nodes that are already available to me. If that isn't the case, then I want an integer minus an integer and I want to minus one off of each time. So I'm going to get my countdown again, and then I'm going to drag it in and click set, int countdown, equal to int countdown minus one. And then we want to connect this back up to our delay. So now this should work, but we're going to debug it by adding an extra node. What we're going to do is after each delay, I'm going to print string. I'm just going to lift this up here so I can see it a bit better. And I'm going to print my int countdown. You'll get this node, which means it's just converting to a string. Don't worry about making these nodes neat. We're just using them for debugging purposes. So when I click compile and play, you'll notice in the top left, there's numbers three, two, one, zero. And now I can play. Okay, so that's how you set up a very simple countdown system that goes 3, 2, 1, 0 and play. Like I said, these two were just for debugging purposes. We can just get rid of those and connect them up. And then we have our uh, countdown fully done. If you wanted, you could take some ideas from other games like from Battlefield and have the desaturated sort of black and white style countdown system so that once the countdown's finished you see colour and begin to play 
you can have a countdown in the middle of the screen that shows you three, two, one, and anything else, you know. I'm sure you've seen examples in other games, and this is how you create it very simply. So I hope you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up if you did. If you didn't enjoy the video, then give it a thumbs down. If your opinions are otherwise, or you have any questions, suggestions, advice, or just want to leave a comment for a general reason, pop it down in the comments below. I'm always around, so I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to hit me up in a more direct way, there's always Twitter. My Twitter handle will be on screen now. It's at Sam underscore BA underscore Jones 97. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you guys. Bye.